Hello, sir. I'm good, Mr. Good well. Today, I want to buy myself an Indonesian style shirt because I've seen so many Indonesian men here wearing this kind of like orange and brown kind of style shirt with some like funky patterns in there. And I've decided that I want one. Now, while I'm here, I'm actually going to Banda Ace next week. So I want to buy myself some pants because I only have one pair and I'm gonna need more than one pair of pants over a week. So I wanna buy one shirt today and one pair of pants. So where did I come? Of course, I am in Tamarin City and this is the biggest fabric shopping mall inside of Jakarta. Okay, this is women's. Let's go over this side. All right, this is men's. Oh, this one's closer. This is kind of what I'm talking about. When I scroll through these, I feel nothing but love. I really feel like this is what my dad's wardrobe would have looked like in the 1970s. These designs are incredible. Okay, I've been looking for a couple of minutes now and there's a lot of shops. And as you can see, there's just a lot of designs. It's kind of surprising just how many there are and just how intricate these designs are. So I'm thinking that, okay, I'm gonna go with the original plan, orange brown, but I've noticed there's a lot of long sleeve and short sleeve as well. Oh, there's a lady sewing some stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm from Yusi. Ini baru gaun? Yeah. Oh, wow. You make all. Oh, wow. Crazy. So this lady is making them right now. Look at that detail. And there it is being made. No, no, man. Yeah, yeah, Bonita. It's okay. Yeah. Can you speak in Indonesia? Oh, uh, said it good, yeah. I said it yeah, good. Yeah. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Oh, say hello. Yes. Wow. So, dia uh, buah semua. Yeah. Kalian gini-gini dia buah. Wow. Amazing. All right, so I need some rules. I'm going to go with the orange and brown. I'm going to go with short sleeves. So I'm seeing a lot of long sleeve, short sleeve. So the original color pattern with short sleeves. As I'm feeling the fabrics, I can feel that there's a lot of different quality and I don't know what the prices are and there's no price tags. So I've got my secret weapon of how to find out what the real prices are. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, how much do you pay for this? Uh, about uh, Pico Viro. For one? Oh, Wanita. Oh, Sumua Wanita. 175. Oh, yeah. But the material is different, see? What is this material? Oh, it feels kind of coarse. It's premium. What's a uh, cotton? Cotton, this one cotton. Cotton. Yeah. All right, no success so far. We've got a sizing issue. We've got a coloring issue. All right, so this one looks pretty cool. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to try it on. But I just realized I don't know what size I am because I'm looking around and I'm a lot bigger than most of these guys. And I think my idea of a large and their idea of a large size might be entirely different. So let's just try this one on and see how we go. All right, I quite like this one. So I'm just gonna try it on, uh, see if it fits. My boy there says it's cotton, so we'll trust him. Although he was telling this, that this one was uh, 20 US dollars, which I, oh, wow, this is too small. Okay, <laughs> too much, uh, too much Indonesian food. All right, this one's kind of similar. I don't really like this one this much, but it's XL. So XL. So let's see if this fat bole can fit in this one. All right, this is big. <laughs> I feel like there can be two of me inside here. All right, how's it look? Yeah, uh, feels more like a dress because it's so big. All right, I definitely need large. Okay, so the more I look, the more I find there's, there must be close to a thousand shops here. So. I might just go up a level. I feel like this level I've maxed out. Can't quite get what I want. I'm gonna go up. Lante Satu. Okay, we got some short sleeve ones here. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> this one is like uh, Versace meets Indonesia. It's 
this, you can just put this on your wall, really. This is so beautiful. Uh, how much are these ones? This is 200. 200? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's expensive, huh? Yeah. Mahal? Uh, yeah. Manapa. Batik Chap. Batik Chap. Batik. Oh, manual process. Ah, hand. hand. Yeah, sure. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Do you make them? Do you you make? No, 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 no. No, no, no. My friend. Your friend? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, this is the kind of colors here that I had in mind. This kind of orangey, orangey, orangey. So let's have a look in here and see what these kind of look like. This is interesting. Not quite what I was thinking, but getting pretty close actually. All right, I've had a good look around now over two levels and I can see that there's so much variation here. Because I was kind of expecting that maybe half these places had the same supplier, but I can see that each of them are different. Each shop has its own designs, its own style, and this is making it really difficult to make a decision. I thought I would pay maybe 75,000, 100,000, but I can see for that price, the quality is very poor. You can feel the fabric is not so good, the threads are loose, and uh, just not very good quality. I think it will wash three or four times and then fall apart. You can get lost in here so easily. It seems like I've found the middle part again. There's like a thick track right down the center. And then you go off into the maze there and you just get lost in all of the shops everywhere. So I'm kind of back to where I'm familiar with now. And at the moment I have to say that that one that I said that looks half Indonesian, half Versace, that's my favorite so far. And I'm thinking I might even just go back there and buy it. This is kind of similar to what I was thinking. Not quite. It's okay. This one kind of as well. Oh, I do like this one. This one's blue and it's large. Uh, maybe I'll quickly try. Excuse me, sir. Uh, how much are these ones? 200. I can feel the cotton's very thick. It's a high quality cotton. And it looks to be well made. There's no loose threads hanging. You can see the cheap ones, there'll be some threads hanging out here. You can tell this is sewn together quite well. All right, here we go. So I think it looks all right. I'm pretty happy with it. I reckon it's pretty cool. Um, it's a bit big. That's the only problem. It's just a little bit big. I feel like I'm swimming in this. There's a lot of room there, but I do like it. Excuse me, do you have medium? Medium? Different size. All right, that looks positive. But he's going somewhere else, which tells me that many shops are owned by the same people with the same supplier. So maybe I was wrong before. Maybe it's not as unique as I first thought. Interesting, I've noticed it's like a double fabric. So there's literally two fabrics uh, on the one shirt. All right, the young guy here found the medium. So I'll try this one on. I can feel it's definitely a smaller size. Ah, oh, this one fits a lot better. Yeah, this one feels a lot more comfortable. Uh, I've got that feeling. That feeling that I'm going to buy this, but I don't know how much I should pay because I don't want the uh, foreigner price too much, but uh, I'll pretend I'm Indonesian. All right, looking pretty good here. I quite like this, I have to say. All right, I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan of this. Fits well. Looks good. I like the color. I like the style. It's not brown and orange, but, uh, you know, it's a tough world out there, right? Uh, it's got some brown, some orange, so uh, I like this. Uh, so, what's your best price? Best price for you, I think, 150. 150? Yeah. Hmm. Can I give you 120? No. No? <laughs> Upset, really? Yes, really. 150? This is the best, best price for you. Best price for me. All right, okay. son. Yes, sir. For you. All right, this is success. We're packing it up. We're taking it for 150. Let me know if it's a good price. Yeah, I don't know. It feels good. The quality is good. It's well made. I'm happy with this, but I think maybe still got the bulle harga. Right, I've got my money ready. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, you too. So I just asked him, I gave him the money, and I said, thank you very much, sir, blah, blah, blah. And then I switched into speaking Indonesian. And I said to him, I know, of course, I pay too much because I'm a foreigner. That's okay. 
I understand. I'll pay a little bit more. No problems. Uh, how much would you sell to Indonesian? He said, oh no, this is the same price. This is the price we give, 150. And I kind of like pushed him. It's like, Prachanda, come on. And he's like, yeah, yeah. So I think he's serious. So, um, and this is what I find with a lot of Indonesians. Maybe not in Bali, I'm not sure. But once you get outside of Bali, I see that most Indonesians are actually very honest people. I think maybe some tourist experiences in Bali give people a, a bad opinion or a bad experience. But I find that once you're outside, maybe you need to haggle sometimes. I have haggled for some things, don't get me wrong, to bring the price down. But in general, if you're going to get ripped off, you won't get ripped off by that much. So anyway, success, baby. Some serious success. I'm feeling good. This is like a retail therapy high or something. So I'm going to try and find the other place, right? Remember I like the other one, the Versace slash Indonesian one. I'm not too confident I can find it. I reckon it was this way. Uh, we'll have a bit of a look. And here we go. I've actually found it already. So I'm going to assume that this guy will do 150 as well. So he told me 200. There he is there. I'll drop my voice a little bit, right? Because he's just there. So he said, my strategy is, he said 200. But this guy also said 200. And then he gave me 150. Um, and I feel like Indonesian culture you don't go back and forth 20 times. It's not a tourist area, we're in Jakarta here. So I think I'll ask him best price, I'll try a little bit less, and we'll see what happens. This is the one. Oh man, it's so pimp, I like it. Yeah. Right, let's go to the mirror, let's see how we look. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Maybe not, I don't know. So there's our mirror view and yeah, I don't know about this one, I have to say. I reckon I like the other one a lot better. This one fits okay, it's a little bit loose, but uh, it's pretty cool. But I think I'm just gonna go with the first one. So you can really see the quality of this. It's really well made, I have to say. I'm pretty impressed by the workmanship. You can see the detail down here, sewn in there. Double layer around the armpit here. It's actually uh, really well made, I have to say. Okay, after all that, I'm a little hungry. I do see that there's a food court up here. It seems that the uh, food court is on level two and three. I was almost at the food court to get some food and I saw these for 50,000 and half of them look like the exact original color scheme that I was thinking of. So let's turn this around and have a look and see if my dream can come true after all. This looks pretty close. Oh wow, that looks very close. That looks pretty good. Well, so does this one. Oh yeah. This must be where all my taxi drivers shop. This is exactly, oh wow, this is nice as well. Look at that one. I took this one out. Some really good styles here. I can feel it's a bit cheap, it's a bit thin, but uh, that's okay, because this is kind of the look I was really looking for. This might be a little bit small. Again, that magical word, gundut, but I think, it's definitely the look I'm going for. Oh, yeah, it looks good. It looks good just a bit. <laughs> like the Hulk again, kind of bursting out of this. Alright, so this is one of the larges. Now this is a fraction tight, but I have got this second shirt underneath. And if anything, I'll probably drop a few kilos uh, in the next few months. So, I think... I'm pretty happy with this. This is not too bad. All right, I've decided to go with this one. Um, we can tell it's a bit cheap. There's kind of little bits of fabric kind of coming off there and the buttons are a bit thinner and the fabric's a bit thinner and a bit coarser, but uh, it's only 50,000. And as I say, I kind of like this look. So I'm gonna go with it. Got the 50. All right, thank you, sir. Good, good. Thank you. Now I've just remembered uh, I'm all excited with these two new t-shirts, but I just remembered that I have these two phone batteries that I need to change. So I'm going to run to those girls now. I'm on the right level. Okay, it's a bit of a challenge navigating around here. I suggested if you visit uh, Tamron City, you have a few hours spare because you're going to get lost in the maze. And I've been thinking about where on earth is the lady. Uh, and here she is now. I found the battery lady. You can go here and... Uh, get my two batteries. Hello. Hello! Yes, I'm here. I have my phones. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so okay, okay. I really like how they have the seating here. 
seating for the customer's comfort. Yes, please. Ah. All right, gotta be back there in one hour for two new phone batteries. And I can see the food court up here, but if you didn't notice, there's a whole lot more shops. And I'm not even gonna look at them. I'm just gonna keep my eyes straight ahead. Lurus, straight ahead, don't look. I don't wanna see any better shirts. I love the two shirts I have. And it is time to eat. All right, we found the food court here, but it's kind of empty. Most of the places are shut. I think that uh, the whole COVID thing, I think it really destroyed a lot of these restaurants, actually. There's only a handful of them still open. Uh, you can see here, there's a few up here open. Um, and there's a few back this other way as well. Let's have a look through here, see what's around. There's only about four or five open at the moment, I think. Oh, I can wash my hands here. Good. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, wow, there's a lot more here, actually. Oh, that's some steak. Oh, chicken steak. Oh, that's some food. Tenderloin steak. Oh, wow. I knew what I wanted, and then I saw this, and I haven't eaten Western soul food for quite a while. So I've got this urging, and I reckon that chicken steak is exactly what we're going to get. Sirratos? Oh, finished. Oh, yeah, I understand. What about tenderloin steak? Tenderloin, you got Yes. I'll oh, finish also. Oh, no. Oh, problem. Oh, the nazi goreng seafood looks okay, actually. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Good. Good. Yes, I want. Yeah, mau. Yeah. Nasi goreng seafood, satu. Makan sini. Oh, wow. This is how the tea is made. Uh, look at this production mm -hmm. line, very efficient. Okay, that was fun. That was an hour and a half worth of running around. I've got a client messaging me that I need to speak to for an hour, but uh, here I am with my uh, iced tea and waiting for my Nazi Gorang seafood, the most stereotypical foreigner in Indonesia. Here is my beautiful Nazi Gorang seafood. For approximately one dollar and sixty cents US. Thank you. All right, these kids keep yelling out to me, so I'm going to go over to them and shock them and say hello because they really want some attention and to say hello. I'm going to turn around. Hello. Oh, yes. Can you speak English? Yes, really. Crazy. I am from Australia. Uh, Australia. Yeah, you're from Jakarta? Yes, of course, you go to school here. Why are you not at school? Oh, what are you eating? Noodles? Indomie? No, not Indomie. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ben. What's your name? Namakamu. Siapa Namakamu? Oh. Oh, 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 translator. Yes. Siapa nama kamu? What is your YouTube name? What is my name? YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Ah, uh, Ben di Indonesia. It's a uh, Hanya Baru. Baru, yeah, yeah. It's funny wherever you go in Indonesia, you find these things. I'm not sure what they are exactly. Um, we call them prawn crackers in Australia as a, a generic term. Uh, I'm sure there's no prawns involved at all, but these things just show up everywhere. They're nice, but uh, they're everywhere. <laughs>